In this post-St. -Pat Patrick's Day season, I'd like to introduce two tunes in this lesson. First off, we have the Irish Jig. Now, for any of you who spent a night in the bar on St. Patrick's Day, and I can't imagine that any of you would have, you probably saw someone who had maybe consumed a pint of Guinness, maybe more, dancing around with a hand on the hip and one on the head, looking like Michael Flatley doing a Mexican hat dance. I can't teach the dancing, but I can teach you a, a traditional Irish Jig, one that's really common. The Irish jig is probably most associated with Irish dancing, second only to the reel. And it, it come, there's really four types of, of jigs. Double jigs, which we're going to learn, slip jigs, single jigs, and slides. For Irish dancers, there's also treble jigs, which are played at a lethally slow tempo, and we're not going to worry about them on the tune whistle. Today I'm going to introduce the tune, Saddle the Pony. This is a very common tune played at Irish sessions, and I think that you'll enjoy learning it. The tune is in the key of G, so remember the C's are going to be natural. I'm going to play the tune one time through slowly, and then I'll play it again a little bit more up to tempo with some variation. I'd like to call your attention to two things. First off, you'll notice that my breathing the first time through the tune was a little bit wonky. It's very hard to slow a tune down so much and be really attentive to making sure all the notes fit in. So I'll sacrifice my breathing to make sure that I get enough of the notes so that you following from home can follow along the sheet music and get a sense of where the tune goes. Second, keep in mind that when I am playing, I do lift my hands up extremely high. I'm very conscious of doing that, and it's really for your benefit, so you can see where my, my hands are. In general, you want to keep your, your fingers close to the, to the body of the tin whistle. You don't want them out in, you know, in some orbit around the tin whistle. Keep them close. The second tune is another genre of Irish, uh, Irish music, Irish dancing music in particular, and that's the hornpipe. When you watch an Irish dancer do the hornpipe, they're wearing the heavy shoes, and they make a lot of racket as they pound away at the floor. These tunes, commonly associated with pirates, probably came over to Ireland uh, in the 18th century, uh, immigrating over from, from England. Today's tune is called The Boys of Blue Hill. Many of you will have heard this, especially if you've ever been to an Irish dancing competition. This is easily the most common tune that's played, uh, played probably ad nauseum by any uh, Irish musician uh, playing for the dancers. I'm, as I did with the jig, I'm going to play it one time through pretty slowly, and then I'll pick up the tempo, adding some ornaments and variation.
notice by the variations that I put into this tune, and even uh, to some extent in Saddle of the Pony, that I'm departing a great deal from the slower version of the tune. You have to remember, Irish music, being inherited orally by the ear, provides only a skeletal structure. What you, what you see on paper or what you are taught usually is just the very bare bones of the tune. What the interpretive process of, of the Irish musician involves is adding to that, to, to decorate the tune, to let the tune speak through your experience, through your skills and abilities. I've emphasized it before, and I usually end all of these videos. We really are helping you to find a voice in the Irish tradition by introducing you to the basic skeletal structure of the tune and then allowing you uh, to learn and work on your ornaments. It allows you to, to dress up the tune and to make it your own. Remember, it is only by understanding where the tune came from, knowing the tradition, and then making it your own, making it a part of you, that you will have a voice to contribute to the Irish tradition.